guys it is the muddy puddle squad here welcome back to a brand new video and i am going to be telling you guys about a new um super centenarian claimant this one is a chinese man um does not give uh the the place the city that he lives in or the city of his birth but he is chinese and he claims to have been born september 1st 1910 and he lives in china at the age of 113 years and 19 days so now i'm going to tell you guys right now there's some serious red flags about this case and i'll tell you why um september 1st is considered i, I don't know what the proper name for it is is the quarterly census i think it is i don't know what it is and uh, what what the proper term for it is but they do a census on um january 1st may 1st and september 1st um if it is i guess every three three times a year. I, I don't know what the proper names for these terms are. Um, but yeah, so September 1st is actually a placeholder birthday, which is very strange. Um, it's not, it's not as suspicious as a January 1st birthday, but it is pretty suspicious that his birthday is September 1st. That right there is when the census um, records usually take place. So it would make sense that, you know, they, they took a census on that day um, several years ago and he just guessed his age. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that happened. That's just my my thinking whenever I see a birthday on September 1st. Um, now, there's some other strange things about this case. Um, he One, he's unvalidated and he has absolutely no documentation, no records, and he has never been mentioned on any of the official um any of the by any of the official research teams so that that's pretty suspicious um but he could still he could just be undiscovered we don't know yet um and another thing that's very strange is that okay pay attention to his birth date september 1st 1910 while yang longsheng um held the title of the oldest uh chinese living chinese man who was born December 13th, 1910. Um, this death date is wrong, by the way. He was not, he did not die at 111. Um, he more likely died at 112 in mid-2023. But it's strange that an older man had never been reported to be the oldest living man of his country. Isn't that kind of strange? I don't, I don't know. But that's just strange in my opinion. He could have just been a very, very late discovered case. But again, why would they even... Why would they not even announce it? I, it's, it's just, it's weird. Um, anyway, thanks guys for checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Later.